In Mark's Gospel and in all of the Gospels, we hear an account of Jesus multiplying loaves and fish and feeding 5,000 men, not counting women and children. Um, so I've got my chef coat on right now because you know I'm the priest who cooks on TV and uses the power of food and basically tries to elevate culture and family life, doing good with food. And, and Jesus is a big foodie and he proves it because this is a miracle that when he did it, made everyone want to carry him off and proclaim him as king, simply because as king, they have a job to do, and that's to feed their people. And it's interesting because in Mark's gospel particularly, it talks about how he was preaching for a long time, and he had pity on the people, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. A shepherd, pastors, have to feed their flock. And then another unique aspect about this is that 12 baskets were recovered simply from a few loaves and fish, which in John's gospel and in that account, that came from a young boy. Can you imagine if you were the only one who had food and there were 5,000 men, not counting women and children, and everyone's looking at you starving because they had not eaten for three days. Oh, and by the way, that whole... 5,000 men, not counting women and children. That's not the Bible being sexist, folks. That is the Bible saying it was the dad's job to feed their children spiritually and physically. So it was the dad's job to provide bread for the table. It was the dad's job to make sure the children knew who their God was. And, and I know that it was the fathers who dragged their children out into the desert for three days without any food, because if it was the moms, she would have probably packed a lunch for everybody. But you can see the problem is, there are many people who don't know what our primary role is, and that's to make sure people are being fed, spiritually and physically. And it requires one very important thing, to be generous to not be afraid of giving of yourselves, which is exactly what that young boy did in this gospel account. He was willing to just give up his very meager food, but what was done with it? It was placed in Jesus's hands. And in Jesus's hands, he makes the miracles. And so perhaps today you might want to consider what are your small gifts and what are you doing with it? Hopefully, you'll have the strength to put it in Jesus' hands in prayer, and he can take those small gifts and feed more than 5,000. In fact, there will be enough left over that can satisfy more than baskets. It can satisfy hearts and souls. I just got to remind you, people are hungry. That's why I do what I do. FatherLeoFeeds.com is what I do because I know that I can hear the grumblings, not just of stomachs, but of hearts. People are hungering for Jesus. And the only way that's going to happen, the only way people are going to be fed is if you're willing to put yourself in Jesus' hands.